Hey there guys and welcome to another Factorio Reddit Weekly. I'm Exterminator and thank you for joining me. Uh, sorry it's a bit late today. Uh, I was out doing stuff most of the day and then when I got back I didn't really feel it. Uh, but I'm feeling it now so let's hop in. Uh, I showed my girlfriend Factorio a week ago. Today she sent me this. Oh, I think I've seen this. <laughs> oh my god that's perfect. Salt and red science. <laughs> oh man, it's perfect. <laughs> Oh man, that's hilarious. She's a keeper. So now surround her nest and belt so she can't get away. <laughs> Is she single? The factory grows. With both people playing Factorio, they'll both be single soon. Can't keep a relationship with that going on. Oh my god. Closest first teaser. So this, I think, this is a mod. Uh, closest first. <clears throat> and I think it what it does is it has it makes this of your bots deconstruct the things that are closest to you first as you can see here Rather than just flying out and hitting like random Like randomly which ones they pick up. They're all doing it closer to the character, which I think is really cool Because um, a lot of times when you're picking up builds uh, You know, you maybe want to just pick up the things closer to you first um, So this is really nice Heart <laughs> oh my god, that's awesome. Plant loves you even after after how you've carved it to ship bonus people and stolen its minerals. Oh my god. It's very true though. Pickaxes are going away in 017. Stack up as much as you can. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Is it seriously? Those are all steel axes. <laughs> Holy cow. Anti elites would love this. Team Steel Axe would be all over this, man. I'm sure you speak on quick bar. I want to live in your world. It speaks for itself. Wow. <laughs> wow, that's pretty funny. Uh, let's enjoy the game now. Oh, yeah, it's getting the achievement. So, uh, smoke me a skipper. I'll be back for breakfast. So, you finish the game, lazy bastard. Steam all the way, no solar, raining bullets, so not using lasers, and then no logistics network. So basically, yeah, um, if you're doing all these achievements at once, it's probably not that fun unless you're really into it. So as this person says, let's enjoy the game now that we have this stuff out of the way. I'm going to take you to finish this run. 25 hours, 38 seconds. Wow, yeah, that's a long time, man. I mean, I don't blame them. <laughs> this is this is quite hard to do with doing all those achievements in one. Oh, I love this. I saw this earlier in the week. This is so, so cool. Covering fire without color. Yeah, it's like the chibi thing, but the turret and then, oh, this is so cool. I can't wait until they add color. Original anime Netflix adaption. We are at stage two of this dang meme format. Boy, stage two. Keep up the good work. Stage two will be front page material. <laughs> Sucks it can be the Netflix adaption. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. This is um this is really neat. I love I, I just love fan art like this. Uh it took me a shamefully long time to figure out why my uranium mining wasn't working. Oh my god, I've seen this too. They're pumping lube into the uranium. I mean, green and green, I can kind of see how maybe you'd mix that up. Is that lubricant? Green stuff in, green stuff out. See, exactly. That's like what I just said. <laughs> yeah, ex see, I knew it. They, you know, it's green and green. You can mix it up. On the plus side, I was training it in so it's not like that's a huge task or place. <laughs> Not only did it take me a couple of seconds to notice the lubricant instead of sulfuric acid, but I also noticed the pipes between the drills. Here's a tip, the drills themselves can allow acid to flow. Yeah, so if you guys didn't know, um, you don't have to do it this way because uh, the, these blue, like the connections, all the blue connections are like fluid box pipe connections. So uh, you could just hook a pipe to the first one and then the fluid will flow between the miners side to side if you set them up like that so that the fluid things are going into each other. 
um, which is really nice. Saves some pipes, makes it less messy. Placing last of 800k landfill. 800k landfill, I'm almost done. Oh my god. Landfilling is such a task. What the hell is this? Oh my goodness, what is this down here? And they ran out. <laughs> Dude, I mean, on the Expander Rock Payloads map, we've done like over 3 million landfills, so get on our level. <laughs> no, but seriously, this is, uh, this is crazy. 800k landfill is still insane. Run out at the end every time. I know, it's so frustrating when that happens. When you have an obsession with direct insertion instead of get spaghetti, you get whatever this is. <laughs> oh my god! This is Bob's Angel's junk, but holy crap. This is like messier than spaghetti, almost. <laughs> like, this, this is spaghetti without the belts. I call this a meatball. Yes. <laughs> there you go. Factorio Reddit, pat on the back. I only made this post for a long time. I just want to say well done to everyone in the subreddit. Oh, in this Reddit sub. So many other places you go and it's all, this is the only way your stuff sucks. But here, despite all the methods of doing fact factories, people have always come together to say, you play the way you want to play. There's no wrong way. It always gives me a nice, cozy, warm feeling inside. Seeing this, even on the rare occasion where someone says otherwise. Uh, yeah, so this is really nice that uh, the subreddit in general seems very supportive of people's play styles. Very happy to give advice without telling them you're, you know, do it my way. Um, yeah, this is, this is really nice. Time to expand my base, and I haven't done some old school combat in a while. So, oh man, using the combat bots, they're super good against bases. This is sped up, I'm pretty sure. Um, maybe not. They just have a lot of exos. I think it is sped up though. Um, the combat robots are really good against bases and worms and pretty much small, medium, and big biters, but I found them to be very lackluster against the behemoths, which, um, it, you know, is a problem. <laughs> it just takes them forever to kill them. This is oddly satisfying iron or offloading station that I make. I mean, that is pretty nice. It's, I, I mean, it's symmetrical. Called print screen. <laughs> Did they, oh yeah, they took a picture of their monitor, I think. <clears throat> oh my gosh. Picked this up an hour ago. Or so I thought, I actually picked this up four hours ago. <laughs> this is so perfect for the game. <laughs> the factory grows. One of us. Just checking, but you are aware that it's your, the year 2019 now, yeah? <laughs> uh. I said to myself, one K science pack per minute will be enough. 3,300 rockets and a whopping 19 gigawatts later, I'm stabilizing at 5K science per minute. 5K science per minute will be enough. <laughs> um, so this is with Bob's mods. I can, because there's all this other stuff. Uh, not that it's not impressive. I would just wouldn't compare it to vanilla, but this is... This is still pretty awesome. 19 gigawatts is some heavy power usage, man. I'm sitting over here trying to reach 60 science per minute. <laughs> it's like, there's definitely like a, a threshold, both mentally and just build-wise, that you have to cross to really get into that mega base stage. And it takes, it's really hard to get there. Um, which is like, you know, part of why I did my Tightening the Belt series is to, you know, kind of help people try to make that transition who want to. Should be a late game hover car that can fly over obstacles so you don't collide with anything. Except for things like tallest power poles, you should be able to fly over things to avoid the aggravating collisions the car the scar up your factory with health bars. Yes. Um, spider trauma would be great, or some sort of hovercraft or airplane or helicopter. Obviously I know there's mods for the aircraft and helicopter, but in base game it would be really it would be really nice to have something like that. <clears throat> My friend and I are new to Factorio, 38 hours in, and I feel like we are 5% into the game. We are proud of this. What the hell is this? I'm confused. What is this? Is this brick? It looks way different. Stone pad does not look like this normally, does it? 
What in earth? I'm I'm a little confused by I mean the builds. I like the builds, everything's clean, but this path is like driving me nuts. I'm saying if anyone Huh. Maybe it's like is that I'm pretty sure like I know like that just doesn't Oh, it's because of all the foliage, I think, is what's making it look like this. I don't know, that's really weird. But this is a nice base, either way. Friday Facts. It'd be neat if trains showed how far they had traveled in kilometers or something. It's traveled three somethings. That's like five di distances. <laughs> that would be kind of cool. So I don't have enough water. Never enough water, man. All those tanks pain me. And the pipes, yes. She just hate him because of this one simple trick. <laughs> Clickbait. Okay, please make this an achievement. Polluting metal of pollution. Reference to Futurama given only to players truly dedicated to polluting the planet. Dude, i definitely get that metal, I think. Produce a bazillion megawatt sits using only coal. I'm going to start requesting Easter eggs. Uh, my friend's first spaghetti factory is a wonderful sight. Definitely some decent spaghetti there. We see a thousand spaghetti posts on here that are everything but spaghetti. The spaghetti is so pleasing to me. Even my dead Italian grandfather smiling upon it from his grave. Yeah, this this is reminiscent of some of my first bases. Definitely, you know, kind of hodgepodge, building, just kind of fitting stuff wherever it will go. I've said it before, I really like bases like that. You can see the reduction in biter attacks every time I activate my perimeter of artillery guns. <laughs> Active perimeter artillery, drops in consumption, perimeter, <laughs> that's awesome. Bullet consumption. Every time I activate the artillery surrounding my base, there's a spike in ammunition consumption while biters retaliate, and a significant drop in activity. Very satisfying stuff. That's, uh, yeah. Totally is pretty good, man. This belt intersection looks like a moose. <laughs> oh, it does. I see. I see the moose face. <laughs> Pikachu! I sp see spaghetti, though. <laughs> this isn't really all that spaghetti-ish. I don't really enjoy to be that guy. But it's... The factory grows, not factory must grow. Please don't hate, it's just that it's all over the sub lately original meaning with the story behind us. Much, much better, almost mystical. Eyes read, the factory must grow in sinister dune sense. The spice must flow. <laughs> Go to meet the needs of the factory as the factory grows. Uh, laziest way to build mining outposts ever. Longer explanation and blueprint in the comments. Laziest way. I'm confused. I mean, they have the grid on. What am I missing? Mining outposts. The idea is to build a blueprint over a large mining patch in a creative mode in creative mode that is big enough for most of the patches that you will see in the game and then just stamping down the blueprint on every single patch that you see. So we'll cover up to 64, 64 tiles of mining drills. Each stamp comes with a construction station that will automatically build the rest of the outpost. Loading station, pack station. Because I always play biters on there, our laser turrets. Yeah, about that. <laughs> yeah, this patch really isn't that big. Um... But this is cool that they've kind of find, found a nice way to automate it, for sure. Automation is always key, man. And I think that does it. Pretty cool stuff, as always. I love the fan art. Some funny posts. This mod looks really nice, um, for sure. Let's see if... Uh, why is this not vanilla behavior already? Performance. Oh, yeah, probably... That makes sense. I mean... Having, like, forcing the bots to do that type of behavior is probably not great for performance, I'd imagine. Yeah. 
Currently one of the most beautiful places on the planet, but when I saw probably get and test other mods a couple of days. I'm interested in what the, where this is though. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Factorio Wiki 2 open. I love it. All right, guys, I think that's going to do it. Thanks for watching. As always, again, I apologize it's so late, but, uh, you know, I had stuff to do. So uh, leave your thoughts below. And until next time, I look forward to seeing you all and do take care.